now, 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 heavy, now, heavy, now, heavy, now, everybody now, sing everybody, that shit. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Tay Pancakes, aka Taylor Stevens, aka Tay. Some of my lip. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Taylor. I said that already. Today, if you haven't read the title, I'm gonna try something I have never tried on my hair before. I promise I never did this before. It's Passion Twist. So if you haven't seen my last video on my natural hair, me trying to trim my ends, go ahead and watch it. If it look a little uneven, then that's why. So I found that the easiest tutorial that I found on this was from a girl, her name is Meech Nicole. I'll link her video that I found below. But basically, I'm gonna try to do a similar method. So I wanted to do crochet. I got these. I was hesitant because they don't really look as thick as I want them, but we gonna see. We gonna see. We always gonna see. I got five packs. She used four, but she said she got five to be safe. So I was like, okay, let me get five, sis. I hear you. Let me get five. Basically, I was detangling my... Oh. I was detangling my head. So I'm a straight back braid the back. I've already pre-parted it. And so I'm gonna crochet the back. You get what I'm trying to say. If you don't get what I'm trying to say, you won't see what I'm trying to say. Period. All right, let's go. All right, so these don't have to be perfect because they're gonna be crocheted in. The back of the head don't even get shown, girl. It's either gonna be down or it's gonna be up. And it don't matter. Her parts probably look better than mine. I don't know why I can't part my hair right. I feel bad for my kids in the future if I don't know how to do hair right. So I'm gonna just clip this to the side. It's the best as I can. And I'm gonna braid. So it looked like she just braided them all like straight back. Whenever I try to do straight backs, they always end up like that. Like, so I'll be braiding back, right? At least in my head, I'm like, yo, I'm going straight back. I'm going straight back. There's no way I'm not going straight back. And then I get halfway through my head and I be having less head at the bottom. Right, y'all get what I'm saying? So if I be braiding like this, that braid in the middle be stopping like right here in the middle. I don't know. I don't know if y'all get what I'm trying to say, but I know what I'm trying to say, so that's all that matters. So I'm gonna just show y'all. <sighs> I be this close to the creamy crack, y'all. A perm is looking real nice right now. I remember them days when I used to have a perm and you come fresh out the salon and you could just feel the wind on your scalp, like. <sighs> like, hair was blowing, you would run your fingers through it. And it's just like, yeah, those were the days. And while I can get a silk press, five seconds into a silk press. But then again, I think about how versatile my hair is now. Stuff that I can do with my hair now, I could never do with a perm, right? What do I do with my hair now that I can't do with a perm? Hmm. What the heck, yo? I'm not doing this no more. I had a little moment of um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Let me go watch her tutorial, I'm confused. She said if I don't know how to braid to get somebody to help me, but I don't got no friends to braid my hair. Like, I don't have that. Okay, so after my mini meltdown, I'm good. So I got this Argan Oil Scalp Conditioner for like $5 from my beauty supply store. And I'm gonna put that in my scalp and on my hair so that way, you know, it's not so dry because it's a little dry right now. I'm not going to. So, yeah. So, that's what I'm doing right now. And to be honest, it kind of smells like grease. So, I feel like they kind of, you know, scam me out of $5. But, you know, whatever. You win some, you lose some. <sighs> smell like grease. It felt like grease. It was grease, sis. It was grease. It was grease and it got my $5. But besides that, I just braided my hair. I braided it all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to kind of like, when I go through for the rest of the braids, I'm going to connect them so that way, you know, I don't got to use no rubber band or nothing. But I still ended up sewing it at the end, but that's beside the point. Okay, so, you know, this is just me doing the second braid just to show y'all what I'm doing. But I'm not doing a really good job of showing y'all what I'm doing. But I can't braid anyway. So, like the girl said in the other video, you should probably get a video on somebody who know how to corn roll. But I swear they come out cute, so stay tuned, please. Do not click out of the video. I promise they come out cute. But you know, the base of it just not cute. And act like a piece of hair did not just fly out of my hands when I braided this part. But I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to just let y'all finish watching this part. I got them done. I don't know if they look like in the back, so don't laugh if they look a mess. Oh, it look 
a mess. I don't know why I told y'all not to laugh because, girl, I am laughing. <laughs> this is what I meant about them going to the side. Why are they doing the shoulder lean? They lean with it, rock with it. Like, stop. Oh, but they still going to do what they do. So mind your business. Stop, y'all. Mind your business. is good. All right. So now that I'm done the ones in the back, what I'm going to do is... So what you're gonna need is a crochet needle. I have a couple of these because every time I go to the hair store, I think I don't know where it's at and then I know where it's at, so. For those of you that don't know how to crochet hair, this is the rundown, 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 rundown. These are what they look like. Yes, they're 22 inches, so they'll be pretty long. Cause them, they already come passion twist. Did. They come twisted. Can I get some skizzles? Okay, so basically you wanna find the top loop like so. And you want to take your crochet. I'm gonna start at the base of this braid. Take you want to take the crochet needle and put it through the base of the braid. It's gonna come out on the other side like this, like that, like that. You want to take this part of your loop de loop. You want to take it and you want to hook it on the opening of there, like that. And then close it. <laughs> and then close it. And then you want to just pull it through like that. So once you pull it through, you want to get another hold on the loop like that. And you want to take that and come through like a knot. And then you want to double it. Once you do that, you just kind of pull it. And boom. My lips are ashy. With some glossed up lips. We gonna do this again. So I just unravel it like that. Unravel, see? And then take your crochet needle, put it through your hair, like so. Hook it on, pull it through. Keep the opening open like this. Take it, pull it through. Twist it and knot it again to pull it through. And boom, baby. Period. So basically, you're just going to do this on the back row of your hair. And that's going to be really quick. And then you're going to be, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you what you're supposed to do on the front. So this is what it's looking like. I literally just did this in like six minutes. I'm not even lying to y'all. I don't even know if it was six minutes because it says on the camera, I've been on here for eight and I was talking and I did the first two really slow. But y'all, this is really, really easy in the back. Um, the thing that might take a little bit more time is the front, but no problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera or whatever, whatever, cause I don't wanna sit down and go watch some TV. I don't wanna do this in front of y'all. I'm sorry, I love y'all, but I wanna sit down and watch some TV while I do this. So well, this is what I got. <laughs> so this is the front part that I sectioned off. But basically, I use like two and a half packs in the back. I don't know if I'm gonna put more in there. I guess I'm gonna be able to tell once I get this part done. But I might put some more back there, but I don't know yet. It look kind of full now, I think. So once you get like the rhythm of this little thing thing right here. Nope. All right, y'all. So basically, this is what I'm doing. I'm parting them. Like this, I'm using edge control to put them down or whatever. So I'm gonna just show y'all real quick how I'm going to do it in the front. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unravel this like so. Unravel, unravel, unravel. Yes, so once it's unraveled, I'm gonna take my crochet needle. I'm gonna put it through the base, god dang.
like so i'm confused okay so i'm just kind of winging this here all the reason i'm doing it this way is because one thing i did notice in hers is that you could kind of see the braids in the method that she was using and i didn't want to do that separate my hair into two and then i'm just gonna twist I think I'm going the right way. I hope I'm going the right way. If I'm not going the right way, then I'm going to find out in a second. Yeah, this is the right way, right? Yeah, okay. So basically, I'm just twisting my hair with the hair. Once you get past your hair, it's kind of easy to get it to go blue. And this is it. And then it'll naturally like start to loosen up like the rest of these. And yeah, I'm gonna just do that to the rest of the head. I just gotta part the rest. Um, And yeah, y'all get it. And back so what happened was is I got lazy and I stopped on my hair <laughs> so this is a new day obviously this is what I have left so I have two full packs of hair left so basically I've only used three packs of hair so far and I only have two little braids left depending on I guess what size ones you get what pack hair you get this one comes with a pretty decent amount of hair this is the alley chest braiding hair i see a lot of people use what is it called the janet ones but these ones have um 24 strands in there it's 22 inches so yeah i'm gonna add some jewels and stuff to the hair so basically i'm only gonna need two more of these and i decided i'm gonna just sit here with y'all and show y'all how i did the front ones i'm gonna take my needle now don't laugh at my parts i'm not good at parting hair and the parts didn't come out cute so you know leave it alone so you take the needle and you want to go under the rubber band and put it at the base oh I missed it. Yeah, I did them tight. So once it's under the rubber band, make sure your hoop is open. Loop that right there. Close that hole and slide it through. Slide it through. Now you want to put your finger back through that hole right there. Open it up. Take your, take your hair and the twisty hair and pull it through like so. And tighten the twisty hair on there. So you want to unravel it where it naturally unravels. Don't pull it tight because if you pull it tight, it'll get like, see, it get caught right there. So if you pull it lightly, more gentle, it'll unpull. So... I don't know what just happened. That has not happened this whole time I did this hair. I promise. I don't know what that was. All right, so now that you have your two strands, so you split your hair into two and boom, boom, boom. And then you just twist it. Make sure that you twist it the way that the hair naturally twists. All right. And so once you get past your hair, like right about... Right about now, right about now. Okay, once you get past your hair, 
it's kind of easy breezy twisting like you don't have to twist the shafts as much because they kind of see they kind of naturally just go they just go I'm kind of mad at myself at how I parted it because I was kind of lazy with the parting and stuff. It took me about two hours to do this, which is not bad because, you know, if you do these passion twists individually all the way through, um, rather than how I did them, it could take a couple hours. It's a quick little style because I don't be feeling like doing nothing and I've seen people doing it. So, yeah, they right. This joint quick. So, when I get to the bottom, I kind of just twist the bottom because I don't... Why does it look like... I don't know what happened. But yeah, this is what it looked like. And see, it go back to looking like a regular twist. Okay, so I put a few jewels in here. I'm probably going to end up buying some more because it's not enough. But yeah, this is how it turned out. Mm-hmm, 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 oh, it's the wire. It's, it's the, it's the jewel wire. There we go. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this hair is really light. It's not heavy at all. Um, heavier than I thought it would be because dreads, like crochet dreads, are light. Light as a feather. These are very light compared to, I guess, if you did them individually. I tried to lay my baby hands, y'all see? Give me A for effort. Give me A for effort. I mean, I think I did a good job. But yeah, this is a quick and easy style that you can do. Um, it's really easy. You can wear it up. Hold on. Can you wear it up? Yeah. <laughs> You can wear it up in a ponytail if you need to. You could do like a little half up. So the ones in the front being individual helps it be more versatile than if you were to braid your whole head and crochet it in because you can do it that way and that way will be really, really fast. A lot faster than what this one took. So yeah, if you guys liked it, y'all want more stuff like this more often. Also, um, I'm going to do an update video in like three weeks so I can show y'all how they held up. <laughs>